it's been quite a while. So I had family over and my sister has a dog. So I couldn't record because I would have gotten interrupted all the time. So let's see if I still remember how to play XCOM. Okay, what do we have? Uh, let's go to Commander's Quarters. Let's go to Resistance Management. We do not have any Haven Advisors. Let's set that up. Uh, Haven Advisor. Let's see, we have three Engineers, we have two Scientists. Let's put a Soldier for each one of them. Okay. I don't really want to put good Soldiers in, but... We also don't want to put, like, really low-level soldiers, because they won't ever level up that way. Let's see. Uh, who would be good in the event of... Probably want to go with close-range people. In the event of Advent breaking into the Haven. Let's see, who else do we have? Uh, I want to avoid putting squad members in there as well. Uh, we have a lightly wounded person. I don't know. Let's let's just throw some people in there. Okay. A uh, salamander, and we have somebody who's hiding. We should have them do something more useful. Uh, I think in this case they could recruit. That would be useful. And over here, who can we put in? Uh, okay, we've got two people hiding. Let's put them both on Intel. Or no, uh, let's put them both on Recruit. Okay, so we've got that set up. Let's go over to the Armory and check out Squad Management. We've got a lot of people infiltrating. We have a Haven Advisor. I appear to have put somebody who's in a squad in there. Oh, did I just add another? I did add another. Okay. So Haven Advisors do not get to be in squads. see the allure of the Advent Therapy Clinic. A few minutes under the knife and you've got a clean bill of health. Too bad you need a chip to get in. So let's set these icons to be different from each other. And let's see, we could assign more soldiers. We probably want to have a mix of low and high skill. So let's put three from there and then three from the top of the list. Let's see, we've got two specialists. That might not actually be a good idea. Oh no, or, hmm. Two shinobis is probably worse than two specialists. Yeah. Let's take out the specialist too. Okay, who can we put in? We have a gunner. Uh, we have a sharpshooter. That'll work. And then we want to create a new squad. And we can move that to the oh, purple. And let's just put everybody who's not a haven advisor in there. Okay. So that's the squad management for now. Uh, proving ground is fine. Alien machinery is going to be cleaned out in one day. Okay. Let's see what we have in the geoscape. We've got a mission that's almost ready to do. And we've got a mission that we're probably not going to be able to infiltrate in time for. We don't have any contacts, so we can't go anywhere. So I guess we'll just start the mission. Let's see, we we need to recover the item and then that will give us a lead on advent activities. Let's go.
So, Operation Sleeping Grin. There we go. Okay. We've got a bead on the advent date of all near your position. Be advised. Self detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Okay, we've got an assault. So the assault should probably go in first. Uh, yeah, let's go there. On a move. Eyes on the hostile patrol. There is a drone. Okay, so at least now we know where the aliens are. Uh, let's move everybody as close as we can without going into that area. Okay. Can't go there, so I'll go here. Could go there. And then this is a ranger, so we should probably do a full move, because then they'll automatically overwatch. And we also get the benefit of the full move. Oh no, is this a low-level ranger? Okay, so we do have another drone. That drone's moving away from us. Okay. So that, they can see the drone. They can't. They can't, they can't, they can't. Okay, which drone can they see? They can see that drone. I guess I'll just put everybody on Overwatch. Overwatch. And then I will shoot at the drone. I've got 63%, that's good enough for me. That worked. Okay. So now the other drone should get alerted. Maybe? Maybe not. Oh, here it comes. I'm not sure how that was an Overwatch shot, but I guess. Okay, one damage. There we go. Okay, it's down. So, we killed the drone. Now we just keep moving up. Hmm. Okay. No need to ask twice. Oh. There's an officer and a trooper. Let's see. I don't think that's going to be close enough to actually be worth it. So let's move somebody else first. That's not going to be close enough to actually flank. I guess we can move there. And then on the next turn, hopefully we can hit them. And hopefully they won't hit us this turn. Oh, there's more of them. Looks like a sentry and a trooper. Okay. Can we get over there? Not really. Although the the sentry is pretty scary. Let's actually go over there and then we'll use the flashbang to get rid of the sentry for now. Okay, here we go. We get both of them with a flashbang. There we go. Now, what do we do? Can't get them from there. We could hit from there, but it's not very good. But let's try it. Okay. 
Okay, so in the next turn they'll be able to attack. And what can we do here? I guess going there would be our best bet. Okay, we can't get into any cover that way. Not even there. So I guess... If I go here, is there any alien I can attack? No, I can't hit any of the advent from there. So I'm just going to find cover up ahead. I guess that might be our best cover. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, that's probably very dangerous. They're going to throw a grenade right in the center of those three people, but I don't know. Okay, a mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Okay, no more armor for the gunner. Overwatch. And that hit the vehicle. I'm not sure if the vehicle's on fire. I don't think it is. Okay, here we go. So that's 37% to hit. Probably not worth it. Uh, let's take the shotgun and go right here. And then, well, that's 89%. That's 85%. Is the sentry scarier than the trooper? Probably not, actually. Do this. Okay, we got the sentry down. Sent tree down. Okay. We don't have anyone who can move without getting hit by that overwatch. And that overwatch is not going to be easy to get rid of. Unless... Oh, I can't hit both of them with it. That's not really great. Am I at the front? I am at the front. Let's see if Roust works. Or if it's too short. It is barely too short. Okay. They can hit the Advent Trooper and that's basically it. So I'm going to go for that. Okay, that worked. I think somebody might have to get hit by the Overwatch shot. Or at least get shot at. Actually, wait. I can suppress. Let's suppress. Because that removes Overwatch. And it it isn't a shot, so... Or not technically a shot, so it doesn't have the ability to miss. On the move. I'm going to move up. Oh, there's a sectoid. And that looks like a trooper. Yeah. Sectoid's dangerous. Sectoid can mind control. That's not good. Okay. Will my flamethrower reach? No. It won't reach that one either. I could throw a grenade. Okay. That almost got him. I think I... Yeah, I have a soldier left. So... Let's see. Where can I go? Hmm. Don't think any of these are great. That might work. At least on the next turn. Got eyes on the objective. There's the objective. Okay. This is a venture. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. Let's figure this out. We can shoot at the officer, it won't do... Won't, probably won't hit. Can I get somewhere that I can hit them from? Probably not. I can move up, though. Okay. There goes the mind control. Let's see if it works. Yes, it does. Okay. So now my objective changes from 
get the... Oh, actually, if the officer is going to run right next to the sector, I can get a boat. Oh, and he missed. That's great. Okay, so the officer's right next to the sectoid. I might be able to hit all of them with a grenade. Let's see what's going on. Okay, they missed. So I believe... If I have a grenade... Let's see. I think there would be the best. I can get that. Let's try it. I don't think that'll... Okay. Did I kill the sectoid? Did I? Nope. Okay. I don't have... Who's overwatching? They're overwatching. Okay. That is the flank. Okay. So I could just run through and get overwatch it. Uh, there's the sectoid. I got 38%. That's not worth risking it. I don't have any cover I can get to. Let's figure this out. Can I suppress? I can suppress the trooper, but that's not going to help. Okay. First things first, let's get that loot. Okay, we got a laser sight. No, that's not worth it. Well, I could just kind of trigger the overwatch and see what happens. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, I don't have... Okay, it missed. Okay. That actually makes me feel a little safer moving. If we go here... I can't use a grenade this turn, but I might be able to hit the sectoid. Let's see, with roust would be way too much. That would hit the objective. Uh, that probably wouldn't hit. I don't think. Let's look from a different... Nope, it won't hit. Okay. So let's get that sectoid. How would I do this? Plus or minus two tiles, and it, it would either hit the objective or my troops if I did that. So I'm going to not do that. Let's just shoot. Nope, did not hit. Oh, I have a ranger over here. Did I do anything? Oh, the ranger already moved. Okay. Well, this is looking weird. Don't know if it's bad yet, but it's weird. Okay. Uh, can't really move anywhere better. On your order. I guess we could just give them so many targets they can't hit everyone. Make sure the people are far enough apart. Okay. Sectoid's pointing. Oh, that is a specialist, though. So they're not going to have as much firepower. What's the sectoid doing? Is that a resurrect? Yes, that is a resurrect. Okay. That's an overwatch. Now they're just going to walk up to somebody and shoot him. Wow, that did not do much damage compared to what I thought it would. Oh, but it did panic, okay. That did some damage. Okay. I think what I'll have to do is just go through, get hit by the Overwatch. Actually, no. Who's Overwatching? They're Overwatching. Can I suppress them? There. I can suppress them. That gets rid of the overwatch. I'll have to reload on this character next turn. And now... I think I can just run in and... blow them up. How 
I no rocks won't help. Flamethrower will help. Oh no, it won't, because the sectoid moved. Huh. What would I? I can't even hit the sectoid. Let's do roust on the sectoid. Come on. Where's my angle? There. Oh, almost. There. Oh, huh. Oh. This is really finicky. Let's do that. Oh, there. That. Does that get the sectoid? I hope. Two damage. Two damage on the sectoid. Did it move the sectoid? Come on. Are they gonna move? They're burning. Well, that's the Psy Zombie, so I don't know how much that actually helps me. There goes the sectoid. Is that actually any easier to hit for me? I don't think I have anyone in that direction. Huh. This is going very badly. I'm on it. Okay, what can we... Oh, we can hack the chest. Let's just do that. Okay, so let's go for the resistance broadcast. We did not get it, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so the question is, do we get the item from the chest remotely? Yes, we do. Oh, that's great. Okay. Hmm. Burning? Mind controlled. I think the sectoid is burning. No, they're not. Crap. Well, they did miss, but they were aiming at the mind control person. Makes that extra weird. Okay, is that a flank? I think that's a flank. Oh, two damage. Is that entire wall missing? Yeah, they're trying to flank you, aren't they? Yeah, trying. Okay, what are they shooting at? Okay. Whatever. Hopefully the panic ends. Oh, they moved. And the, 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 the suppression missed. That's gonna do a lot of... Oh, that didn't do much damage at all. Why am I getting so lucky? I've made so many terrible decisions. Okay. We basically just have to kill the sectoid. Oh, and panic removed, that's great. Okay. Where can I go that I can hit the sectoid from? Hmm. Can I shoot the sectoid? Not from here. Let's go here. And let's get this guy. Because at least that means we won't get hit by him every turn. Okay. Can we get close enough to the sectoid and be in cover? Probably not, but we do have a grenade and he is at three health. So I think that'll be good enough. We'll see if we can just shoot and it'll have a good chance of hitting. 40%? Nope, we're using the grenade. Okay, there we go. Four damage, that's good. That's one more than we needed. So they're not mind controlled anymore. Uh, they can just shoot the trooper who was flanking them because they are also flanking the trooper. Hostile target down. Okay, I think that's all the aliens. So let's put an evac here. And then let's just kind of move there. Okay. your order. Let's 
do this. On your order. Just move everybody towards the evac and reload their weapons just in case. Back online. Here's the evacuation zone. There we go. Okay. So let's see if anybody got a promotion from that. Bunch of promotions. We're gonna use lightning reflexes because that means that they can basically just run through an overwatch and not have to worry about it. We always go with the defender line that goes all the way to the bottom really great because that's basically free being able to run past or just being able to shoot stuff for free uh, when it's not our turn even. Uh, let's see. Let's go for center mass. That's one extra damage. Revival protocol. For the specialist, I always go medic for the whole thing. There we go, another revival protocol. Okay. Got two laser sights, a scope, and a suppressor. So, what else do we have? We got one day to clear alien machinery. But I think I'm gonna stop this episode now. And I will see you next time, right on this screen. <laughs>